tons of government checks. My parents are paid, paid in the way for me, but you know what? You have no future, you have no destiny. The Bible says the future of the wicked will be cut off. God's going God's gonna to halt, it says, all this wickedness and all this sin. And what if you're the one that gets judged and he casts you out? I want Jesus Christ to perpetuate your life because you're a Christian, because you came to Jesus Christ, because he's your life. He's the one that you're building your house upon. That when the time of trial and the time of trouble comes, that it will stand. Without Jesus Christ, your house is going to be plowed down and blown over and swept away. Just like these waves, man. It's going to be your life. It's going to be your life, man, swept away by the ocean of forgetfulness. On the day that you die, on the day Christ returns. Oh, man, oh, man, are you a sinner? Are you a sinner, though? And then you're the devil, the Bible says. You got a double, double heart, man. Get on the street and now. What good is it, though, if you're a sinner? We're all sinners. Who taught you this? Who taught you that we're all sinners? So you just continue in sin? I mean, you don't fear God? You don't, you don't fear God? I mean, Bible. So you're all sinners. Sinner, you said, though. Right. Is that you? Right. Sure. Everyone's what? Right? Yeah, everyone needs Jesus, but everyone needs to turn from their sin. You still sin? Why did you say mistake? Because you dumped it down. You let you call it what it is. It's a sin. Yeah. It's not a mistake. It's a willful disobedience. No, I, I, I have sin, but now I hate sin. I hate sin. I don't, I don't practice sin anymore. So, well, who, so says you. The Bible doesn't say that I'm a sinner. The Bible calls the Christians saints. Did you know that? Listen, 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 listen. Uh, can you show me a scripture that says that we're all sinners? Are you guys a believer? And yeah, yeah. you believe it? Yeah. Okay, can you quote the scripture? You got the Google? I'd like to see it. I'd like to see a scripture that says that we're all sinners. It doesn't say that. Yes, it does. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 13, verse 21, it says that evil pursues okay. sinners. Wait, do you know, do you know e listen, listen, listen. I, I believe the scriptures, and I believe you guys do too, but listen to what the scripture says. Evil pursues sinners, but to the righteous, good shall be repaid. So God has drawn a line. Are you the righteous or are you a sinner? Well, yeah, yeah, but that was Proverbs 13, verse 21. All have sin. All of us have sinned. Doesn't say we're all sinners, though. It says, have all have sinned. Past tense. Past tense. Right? Meaning all of us. Okay. Regardless of whether or not we are born again believers. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I know that's true. Of course, that's true. And we all, meaning all of us, fall short of the glory of God. Right. The bridge, the gap, without Jesus yes. bridging the gap. We have no way to. But where does it say we're all sinners, though? Sinners are currently practicing. That says past tense. Oh, yeah, yeah, they don't agree with this. They, they, no, they no, think no, they're all I sinners. Think, I think they don't. Yeah, I agree with I'm still saying that, like... Why'd you say you're a sinner? Because I hear that without you. You're a sinner? Yes. Are you, what makes you a sinner? Because I don't... No, 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 listen, listen. You need to agree with what the scripture says. Maybe you're just confused, but if you're practicing sin... That's what makes you a sinner. Now, Hebrews 10, 26, if you continue with sin, in sin without repentance, right. then, see, repentance is an everyday thing. I, I make it a practice. Where, 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 where do you read about? Where does it say that? Carrying your life daily? Yeah. I don't know, but the Bible says this, though. It says when somebody is repenting every day of the same thing, it's, uh, Peter says, 2 Peter 2, verse 21, it says, if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world to the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled and overcome, the latter end is worse for them than the beginning. For it would have been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness and to receive the holy commandment delivered to them. It has happened to them according to the true proverb. A dog returns to his vomit, and a sow having washed to her wallowing in the mire. Okay, who is that verse to? Who, who is that verse to? He's talking about people who go on in their sin. Yes, They're still exactly. sinners. Exactly. They're a dog returning to their vomit. It's, it's you, it's you, you know, living in sin yeah. and then being sorry and going back to your sin the it's next like day. It's like saying, if I start to struggle with morning masturbation and I know that's wrong and I keep going to that without, like, seeking God, then that makes it, then I have no, I have no righteousness. It's talking right? about without going to God. No, no, the Bible, the Bible says you got to renounce your sin. you got to, for, yeah, you got to yeah. forsake your sin. My, my temptations just don't go away, right? You still struggle with your temptations. Temptation itself is no, 
no, I, I agree. Yeah, that's true. But but if you're doing the same sins, if you're if you're if you're crossing that line where temptation gives birth to sin over and over again, that's not that's not repentance. Yeah, that's not repentance. That's yeah, participating yeah. in the very thing. That's right, right. Because because what? Let me give you a little Go ahead. To bring people to Christ, you can't become your sinner. It's it sounds it sounds pretty, but you know the Bible says that John the Baptist comes before Jesus. You know John the Baptist was the yeah. voice of yeah. one crying in the wilderness, and John's message was cut and dry. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He said the axe is laid to the root of the trees to cut down every tree that does not bear good fruit and throw it into the fire. When John the Baptist told us about hey, repentance, on, I mean, you know, see what's getting through to these people. That's hatred. I hate sin. Do you love sin? And the devil loves sin because <laughs> it kills you. Sin is destroying your life. So, so hold on a second. Hold on. I want to. I want to. Um. Huh? Do you want to like sit down and have a chill conversation? Not at this time. I, I sometimes do do that, but right now I want to preach. This is interesting. People are listening right now. They want to hear the interchange. But hold on. I want to answer what she said. So she was talking about let's show them the love. But you got to understand that God has a prescription for a ministry. I'm an open-air preacher. I'm like John the Baptist. I'm crying out in the, in the open square here on the beach here because there's a problem in the land, and it's sin. That's why I ask if you're a sinner. Now, I'm not judging you. I'm not saying you're not a Christian, but I am saying that if your conscience is condemning you as a sinner, then you may, you need to repent, man. You need to yeah. lay that down at the altar. And I act in repentance every day because yeah, but something's, something's got something's got to break, man. I mean, what makes an adulterer? Jesus says when you look at a woman to lust, when you commit adultery, you get with her in your heart. You know, the Bible says, we don't have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. So, you're either going to have fellowship with, you cannot partake of the table or the table of demons, 1 Corinthians 10, 20. So, if you go on looking at pornography like so many young people are doing, you're having fellowship with demons. Well, why do you think that that's not, that's not good for me to tell people about you know, a lot, a lot of people who are involved in these sins, they go to church and the pastor pats them on the back and says, it's okay, man, we're saved by grace, just go on living like the devil. You see, right, but what is repentance? What is repentance? Okay. So we were all born sinners and Jesus died for our sins. So what, so you can go on in sin? We're talking about people who are going on in sin, okay? I, I, I don't disagree with this, but you got to understand something. When you go on in sin, Dude, go ahead, what, what's your point? What are you saying? Are you ready? Go ahead, what's, your, what's the fifth? We're born in sin. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This life is full of that. Yeah. The devil is a lion in sheep's clothing. Okay. okay. So what this world and this life is for is to ride it out, do your best, for, ask for forgiveness when you do something wrong. But each time you're trying to get better, but you're never going to be perfect because the only person that is perfect is God himself. Okay, I agree with that last thing she said. But the Bible, Jesus said, though, be ye perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. David said, do you read the Bible? Do you read the Bible? Are you a Christian? I sound like a Jehovah's Witness? Why are you so judgmental? I mean, I, I'm just giving you what the Bible says. The Bible says in Psalms 101, David said that I will walk in a perfect way. Are you a sinner, though? Are you a sinner? You got a problem if you're a sinner today. If you're a sinner, then you are in need of a complete overhaul. If any man's in Christ, no, God doesn't hear the prayers of sinners. Are you without sin? Not at all. But I'm not a sinner. What makes you not a sinner? I'm the blood of Jesus, and I have a good conscience, a good testimony. Have you, been, have you died and resurrected with him? Is your sin, is this body that you have right now, that we know about from scripture? Is that what, is, okay. is that what you think makes somebody a sinner? Or a, a, you are is here, it the a body? You will not be perfect. But I'm just asking. I want to know. That, okay. The, but David said in Psalms 101, he said, I will behave wisely in a perfect yeah. way. He says, I will set nothing wicked before my eyes. I hate the work of them that fall away shall not cling to me. If a first heart shall depart from me, I will not know wickedness. That's the kind of testimony that you need. You don't need a testimony that I'm a sinner. Let's just give up and go on and live like the devil. The Bible says the devil's been sinning from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God, Jesus, came to destroy the works of the devil. You see, we don't. Well, let's not have this defeated attitude. We're all sinners, we just give up and be like everyone else. No, 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 no. I, I, I'm not necessarily saying that you are. That's why I wanted to ask that question. You're not a sinner. You're a, maybe you are a sinner. Maybe you are a sinner. That's why you're convicted by this. But you're a sinner too. So, like, what? No, which sin makes you a sinner? 
everything that I've done in my past, bro. Are you still practicing certain things? No. Well, then why are you a sinner? Why are you a sinner? You see, that's a problem. So you, know, you got a problem here today. We got a breakdown here today with your conscience. You see, when you have a good conscience, you you laid your. The Bible says those who are. I say at first, first Timothy one, it says having faith and a good conscience. Some having strayed from the faith have turned aside to idle talk. I'm after your conscience. I'm not your judge. But if you're saying I'm a sinner because you got certain sins that the doors are still open to, because you know you haven't shut the door fully in your heart, Bible says this, and, and Romans thirteen verse fourteen says, put on the Lord Jesus Christ. Make no provision for the flesh to fulfill its lust. Galatians 5, verse 24. Those are Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. We're, we're supposed to be saints, the Bible says. Yeah, and I'm, Why do you, say, you should not say you're a sinner. Why should I? Okay, what gives me the right to say I'm not a sinner? You're opening the door for the devil. The devil is the one. The, no, wait, wait, wait. the devil is the sinner. Is Jesus a sinner? No. Okay, the, who are you following, the devil or Jesus? Who, who are you following, the devil or Jesus today? Okay, so then you should be you should be a Christian, right? You should be uh, you know following. The Bible says the King of the Saints, uh, Revelation 15 verse 3. Great and so this great and marvelous are your works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the Saints. Who's the King of the sinners? Who's the King of the sinners? Satan. So don't call yourself a sinner because you put yourself under the under the rulership of Satan. Okay, that is not at all what I'm saying. So, hang on. So, um, because uh, Christians can sin at times, but we don't, I'm not a sinner. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a sinner. My sin doesn't make me a sinner anymore. But you still succumb to your flesh. You're not higher than everyone else. No, I just know I'm not practicing sin. I, don't, I I've shut the door on sin. You understand? You can. You don't have to practice sin. Call not those who think that they're righteous, right. but those who know they are sinners. That's that tonight what it says, sir. Hey, hey, let's read exactly. I will quote you, missed a part. Okay, what I missed. He said, uh, he said, the well of in no need of a physician. I can't, but hold on, he said, the well of with those who are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Jesus also said, if you do not repent, you all likewise perish. So a sinner, the Bible says, the destruction of sinners and transgressors shall be together. Those who forsake the Lord shall be consumed. Uh, sinner is, is never a good place to be. You don't want to be a sinner. You want to be a saint. The Bible says he has translated us from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of the Son of his love. You don't want to be in the camp of the sinners. So do you believe that you're good? Um, in Christ, yeah, man, I'm good. But I'm not a sinner. So why did Jesus I'm not a sinner anymore, praise God. I'm good in Christ, I said. But so why did Jesus say he's not good? Why did he say he's not good? Yeah. Because he was giving glory to the Father. Right. So he said that, why do you call me good? Only the Father is good. Yeah, is Jesus good? He is good. Okay. Why do you say you're good? I said I'm good in Jesus. I didn't take the credit for it. All my goodness is in Jesus. Psalm 16 says that. Psalm 16 says, all my goodness is nothing apart from God. And all my goodness is in him. But you know what? But I do have I do have a testimony. Of, I used to be in a sinner, and now God has made me a saint. Now, I'm not doing it on my own, my own accomplishment. I'm not taking credit for it. I'm doing it. But I'm telling you that you need to understand that being a sinner makes you in a dangerous place today. I understand what the scripture says, guys. Maybe, 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 maybe you're not fully convinced of this. What, what, what it means to be a sinner? I want you to be a saint. I mean, that's that's a good thing. For, my desire is that you would be a saint. The Bible says, "As for my excellent ones who are in the earth, these are the saints in whom is all my delight." My motivation is not to see you a sinner and end up in trouble, end up in danger, in danger of hell, but to be in the place where you're following Jesus, no longer practicing sin, but practicing righteousness. The Bible says you got to learn to do. I think, I think they understand that. I think it's maybe. Their verbiage is wrong. Yeah, yeah their yeah, verbiage they, is wrong. We agree with you. Well, maybe, but you know, uh, uh, at the end of the day, it's it's an important topic. No, it is. Yeah. I agree. Because some people are some people are living in sin and then they're not repenting fully. They're not really sorry. I think it, it, so. they just. The definition of repentance in that process. I think there was like a mis I think they were yeah, thinking you know yeah. daily picking up your cross instead of a repentance. Oh, right. Yeah, it's like a hard change. Right, right. And, you know, I'm not, you know, I, I, I kind of, I'm more black and white when I'm opening here preaching, but I understand there's yeah. there's grace that God gives at certain times, you know, when people do backslide and things like that. But yeah. but the call is to holiness. That's what First right. Thessalonians yeah. 4 verse 8. We're not called to uncleanness, but in holiness. That's why this type of preaching, I have to kind of be more black and white. Kind of like the Proverbs are, you know? Yeah. yeah. So hopefully you guys understand my heart. Yeah, 100%. No, yeah, I, I'm not preaching works or anything like that. Yeah, I'm not yeah, saying no, we're saved by right. works or anything. Yeah, if you did that, we'd have an issue. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, yeah, I, I would too. So. Oh, yeah. But God bless you guys. We okay. It, bro. Amen. God bless you, my Adam. I'm Zach. Zach. Logan. Logan. God bless you. Are these yeah. your friends? Yeah, yeah. Okay. God bless you.
Hey, I'm not judging you guys. I'm just telling you what the Bible warns people about being sinners. The difference between being a sinner and a saint. You know, this is an important conversation today. You know, um, you know, I'm not your judge, but the Bible does judge. The Bible does condemn sinners. That's why I'm concerned today. Uh, maybe you don't understand that your Bible says that we're not called to uncleanness, but in holiness. He who rejects this rejects not man, but God who has given us of the Holy Spirit. We're not called to uncleanness. We're not called to be sinners no longer. We're called to be holy people. The Bible says that you are a holy generation. You are a royal priesthood, his own special people. God has called us to rise above our sin. You know, by the blood of Jesus, 